Hello and welcome to chapter seven of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Okay, so here are your links. You should have already have these. Uh, the PDF version of the book and the Flipgrid page. If you need to pause the video, you can pause it right here and write down those links or you can get them on my teacher page of the Lone Tree website. Okay, to do today, you have to complete the following three assignments and post a photo of your work to Class Dojo Portfolio. There is a vocabulary, a written response, an additional assignment that changes eh, pretty much daily, actually, not weekly. Um, yes, I have shortened the slideshow. Hooray, finally, Mrs. Walsh. All right, chapter seven. Okay, so we have read and reviewed the vocabulary when we read the chapter. If you missed our office hours, you can read the chapter on your own. And when you have finished listening and reading to the chapter, use each vocabulary word on the next slide in a sentence. Do not use a simple sentence, make it interesting. In the last chapter, I challenged you to please do something interesting. Don't make it as short as possible to give yourself as little to do as possible. Think about it, make it interesting. Take a photo of your work and post it on Class Dojo Portfolio and keep it so you can turn it in later. Okay, vocabulary today. Dodging means to avoid. So kind of think of dodgeball. When someone throws the ball at you, you dodge it to avoid it. A token is something to show identity or friendship. So you give someone a token of your friendship. That's a phrase that we use. It could be a small gift. Festoons are another old fashioned word for decorations. Remember this book was written in the 1950s. So a lot of vocabulary is kind of some old fashioned words that we don't use anymore. So, and some of them are very British words that you don't have in America. So festoons. Gum boots are rubber boots, things that you wear when it's raining outside. Oil skins is a raincoat, and that comes because from um, when you used to have uh, old fashioned raincoats before we had all of that material that now we can make waterproof, um, used to rub oil on the coats to make them waterproof. Mortar, that's the material used in building walls to hold things together. So when you see a brick building, that stuff between the bricks, that's mortar. That's where the word brick and mortar comes from. Um, and so write your own sentences for each vocabulary word. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six sentences this week for this chapter. You can pause the video now to write down the words, or you can pause the video and then just do your sentences while the slide is showing. Okay, your written response. Why do you think Edmund was reluctant to trust the beaver? And then why were the others willing to trust Mr. Beaver? So Edmund felt differently than the others, didn't he? Why do you think that is? And why were the others willing to trust him? So um, write down the question and your answer in your notebook or on a piece of paper. You can pause the video to do that. You must use complete sentences. Don't forget those capital letters, boys and girls. Some of you are beginning to forget that you should have a capital letter at the beginning of every sentence, and you should never begin a sentence with because or and. Those two things, what do they do? They join sentences together. You need to write a minimum of five sentences, or you can respond to the question with a video on Flipgrid. Um, and make sure that you have a, a more lengthy response, at least five sentences in your video response too, okay? And chapter seven, we have five questions. So you can pause the video to write down the questions. What was unusual about the animal the children saw? Why did the beaver, what did the beaver say about the trees? How did they know he was a friend? What did they have for dinner? And why was Mr. Beaver pleased that it was snowing again? So those are your five sentences. Pause the video and write them down. So to review, you should have read or listened to the chapter. Remember to save the link. Complete the three assignments for this chapter in a notebook, on a paper, or on a Word document. 
take a photo of your work and post it to portfolios. And then you can also save your work to turn in later. If you have a computer and you do it on a Word document, you may also email it to me. And we will see you for chapter eight.